Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I wanted to do a bit of an experimental video. I want to make a player that is 99 everything, so that includes, you know, aggressiveness and all that good stuff. However, I want to give them 36 discipline. Did my, did my voice just give up or am I just hearing things with the headphones on? I have no idea. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by myself, I would like to give them 36 discipline and fight often. I want to see how many penalty minutes they will actually get in a simulated NHL season. You know, I just think it'd be interesting to see. And maybe, just maybe, if they do end up with a lot, perhaps we could try to do a video where we just simulate the full career of a player like this. And hopefully their discipline doesn't go up. I mean, that's possible, but hopefully it stays the same. And we could see if they could break the penalty minutes record in the NHL, which... No idea what that is, but it's probably ridiculous. It is currently Tiger Williams with almost 4,000 penalty minutes. Really? This man had 66 hours of penalty minutes while playing in the NHL. Well, let's make them an enforcer. I'm just going to leave Joe NHL for now because, well, uh, well, let's go back to Doug Glatt. I, yeah, why not? You know what? I'm actually going to make them drafted and then hope that by the time it actually gets to that point where they're drafted and on the team that they're... Um, discipline is still 36, because otherwise I would completely ruin this whole thing, but yeah, that's what we're gonna try for. Holy crap, they have a half cage. That is hilarious. How have I never seen that? I am absolutely giving that to Doug here. I mean, I- Oh, should we go with the Jofa? No, you know what? The half cage is hilarious. We gotta rock it. There is such a minimal difference between small and large shoulder pads, it's ridiculous. And then, of course, we've gotta go with either the Sherwood Retro Stick or the Titan. And you know what? I'm gonna go with Sherwood, because... I actually used a Sherwood when I was younger. I mean, composite sticks were a thing by then. I just thought it was kind of funny. All right, here we go. High franchise time to crank all these stats up. Everything, that is, except for discipline. I'll actually be pretty upset if they don't end up getting a lot of penalty minutes because I, I don't understand, then, how the whole simulation thing works. We are specifically going out of our way to make sure that this player should take penalties. So they should take penalties, right? Aggressiveness, 99, 100%. Oops, I almost missed it. And then poise will put, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But we're just making everything 99, like I said. Hand-eye, yep, you have the greatest hand-eye coordination on planet Earth. Shot blocking, I mean, yeah, you probably do jump in front of a few shots here and there. And maybe you're pretty good at finding out where exactly it is to do that. I still find it absurd how much these two stats affect the overall. Discipline. Now we're talking. Here we go. The opposite way. Down to 36. Fighting skill. Yeah, we'll make him have a desire to fight. And stick checking can also go up. All right, there we go. And then, I guess, abilities. We could also try to find, like, is there... Oh, well, there probably isn't a fighting one. Exceptional stability and assist on shoulder checks. All right, I like it. All right, there we go. This should be... Yeah. Yeah. A pretty solid player, I guess. So we'll have to sim two seasons here. Because the first one is going to be finding out which team they get drafted to. And then the second one is going to be the real deal. And if this doesn't work, then I guess I'll just go and assign them to a team. Boring, I know. But hopefully the discipline is still 36 at the end here. Alright, it feels weird to be randomizing a team when we're not doing a fantasy draft. But, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that anyway. I'm gonna stop. Now, we get a Montreal Canadiens. Owner mode is off, fantasy draft. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because we're just going to wait for that one player anyway. Let's just turn it on in auto draft. Now I'm curious. Are we going to get a draft pick in the 20s again? Because that seems to be all we get recently. And we're, we're fifth. Nice. Love that. Well, let's start the draft. I am going to auto draft it and just hope we get a really good team. Same entire draft. Boom. Yes, please. Will the Montreal Canadiens have a decent team here? Let's find out. You know what I just realized? I didn't check to see who had the first overall pick, but they took... They took Doug Glatt. So now I, I don't even know what team he went to, which means he's in the league right now. That's even better. That's a win. You know what? I like that even better. That's a win-win. Because not only was it still random, <laughs> he's already in the league. We don't have to sim two years now to find out how many pims this man will receive. Hello? Why am I not able to view their lines? Excuse me? Well, anyway, he went to the Boston... Oh, it's maybe Fog of War. I swear I turned that off, but... Anyway, I will, um... Yeah, go do that right now. Their team is... How'd they end up so bad? <laughs> Honestly. Alright, Fog of War. Let's turn that off. Yes, thank you. No 
please. <laughs> I was going to say no thank you, but but then it would have been back-to-back -back thank you. So, I mean, I used a different manner. Anyway, yeah, so now I can finally see the Ducks. I guess they were completely hiding their team, which is interesting. I didn't know that existed. But yeah, I mean, they've got Marty here with Doug Latt and then Troy Terry. I guess it's all right. On defense, they're decent. And then in net, they've got Blackwood and Georgiev. All right, so that looks not bad. And let's just have a look to double check here that... Never mind, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to here. Yeah, Discipline, where are you at? And there's got to be one that sticks out like a sore thumb. There it is, Discipline 36. All right, Doug, let's find out what you're made of. So fantasy hockey, not going so hot, folks. Um... Yeah, I told you guys that I had to do the whole auto-draft thing. Well, I didn't have to, sorry. I completely screwed up and then auto-drafted by accident because I forgot the draft. So anyways, I started to pick up some players that were really performing well. And, like, I picked up uh, Mangiapane and some other players as well that are having great years that weren't even drafted because no one really expected it out of them. I have Stuart Skinner as well, who has recently, anyway, as of when I'm recording this video, been, like, the starter for... The Edmonton Oilers, so yeah, he's been doing pretty solid. I also just realized we never actually looked at our lines. I'm just curious to see what our lines look like. So, oh, I didn't mean to... Man, I have to go turn that back to yes. But anyway, we have a sick team. Yeah, our team is nasty. Very nasty. Okay, defense. Oh, my word. Okay, we are we are stacked. Let's And we got UC what I see. Come on. Where even is the head coach edit lines thing? I don't know. Is it in rules maybe? Head coach edit lines. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Thank you. Um, minor league coach. Yeah. All right. Let's start the simulation back up here. I see we got a 3-1 win over the Bruins up there. And I am curious to see how our man's Doug Glad is. He'll probably get a lot of points still, you know? Um, no, I think. The only thing I kind of noticed about our team when we were editing the lines there is that it's pretty like front heavy, you know? Like we got... Some very good players up front, and then at the bottom, it sort of really dips. But I think we should still have a pretty solid squad. We are now approaching the trade deadline. I love the simulation speeds in this game. They make doing the career sims so much better because they get through the years just at a much faster rate. Let's see who's on the trading block just because. We've got Giroux. All right. We got Goudreau, Trocek, Zadina. Okay, interesting. Uh, Bishop, Stahl... Russ, Cop, Ranta, and Smith. All right, so definitely some very decent players on the block. I just went to available instead of top 10, and yeah, there's a bunch of good players here. Allen, a bunch of goalies, which is a little strange, but yeah, it seems to be a ton of goaltenders. We could have picked up Jonathan Quick, who's 82. He's, <laughs> are you kidding me? We had a waiver thing, and we said no. Anyway, yeah, uh, just a lot of players on the block here. Claude Giroux went to Chicago for a first and a second. Not bad. Is that going to be the only blockbuster? Apparently it is. And we beat the Bruins again, who are actually currently first in our division. So that kind of worked out well that they are in our division. We can spy on them. All right, regular season is completed. Let's just do the playoffs all in one fell swoop here and then go check to see what's going on. So um, I didn't really see how many wins we actually finished with or where we finished. I also just punched the table. So sorry for that. Nashville Predators are the Stanley Cup champions. All right, Doug Glatt, time to see what sort of damage you did, if any. Boston Bruins. I also want to see if his discipline went up. And he had 187 penalty minutes, so he actually did have quite a lot of pims. Did his discipline go up at all? No, it stayed at 36. All right. So, yeah, 187 pims. That's got to be the most in the league, right? I wonder by how much, though. Entire league, uh, pims. Yeah, the next closest was Tom Wilson with 98. What's his discipline? Probably like 40, 65. Yeah, so he doubled Wilson and then some with a 187. So he did actually get a lot of penalty minutes, which... It, uh, can I speak English just one time? One video. That's all I ask of myself. Anyways, Doug Glatt, 78 points, 82 games played, 187 pims, doubled and then some Tom Wilson. So it's good to see that they do in fact get a lot of penalty minutes with low discipline. So the simulation engine... Does take that into effect, clearly. Does take that into account, really. Makes a lot more sense. Well, let's check out the Nashville Predators, because they did, in fact, win the Stanley Cup. So, yeah, here they go. 73 points out of Farabee, Shabbat with 54, Deno. Oh, I'm sorting, no. <laughs> I'm sorting by Pims. They actually have Steven Stamkos with 89 points. Rust with 75. I was completely looking at the wrong category. This, what is going on with me? Like, I know 
I do this like semi frequently with videos and you know before it was like not so bad but now it's like every video is just I can't I literally cannot anyways Rust was 75 points Kane 71 67 from Faraby Gord 58 Van Der Riemsdyk 56 scroll all the way down here to see what's at the bottom um Vakaninen can't say I've heard of this lad but yeah, he still put up 10 points, not bad, in 56 games. Kucherov led the league with 111 points, triple ones there. Shifley, 104, Marner, 93, Larkin, 92. It looks like Shifley might have actually, no, he did not get the Rocket Richard because Brad Marchand puts up 54 with the Islanders. Wow. All right. Good for you, Bradley. Yeah, there you go. There's the uh, front page for the player stats there. I'm going to try to make sure I do the right one this time. Yep. Normally always go to the league. All right. Markstrom, 38 dubs and 907 save percentage. Anyone here with an 800? No. All right. That's good stuff. You see what I see Soros. There he is. 38 dub steps and a 909, 263. Very decent. Did Boston beat us in the division? I wasn't really paying attention. No, they didn't. We had the same amount of points, both with 98, but we did get the better of them because of, I think it's this row thing. I believe that's what it is. Um, or maybe point percentage. It's one of these two, I think, that separates them, but it's probably row. Anyway, entire league, the Islanders put up 113, 49 wins. St. Louis Blues had 52 wins, but I guess the Islanders just, yeah, a lot of overtime losses for them. 15. That is insane. Just because I always like to check who is the lowest team that made it in. Is it all top 16? Oh, 15. And then, did I miss something? I must have missed something. Because that, how's that possible? Hello? Is there... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Why does it go 16 and then 15? Tell me how that makes sense. Well, here's the awards. Um, Stanley Cup goes to the Preds. And just kind of go through those quickly. And then individual awards. So Cooch with the Art Ross and the Hart. Riley with the Norris. Great stuff. Kucherov with the Lady Bing. Doug Glatt with the Calder. Yep. Brian Rust with the Con Smythe. Carey Price with the Vesna. Gibson with the Jennings. Masterton goes to Cernak. Iginla gets the Jack Adams. Kopitar with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay to Cooch, and Brad Marchand with the Rocket Richard. I don't even think we looked at our team stats, so let's just have a quick rundown. McKinnon only put up 74. Amazing. Suzuki, 63. Kapanen, 61. Um, Kreider had 62 PIMs, which is quite a lot, but 54 points. And yeah, I'll just go through the whole team here quick. Scroll to the very bottom. I see a dash 10, which is awful. And then Ethan Bear at plus 29. Who had the best plus minus? Actually, might have been him. Yeah, it's Ethan Bear by a lot. All right. Um, goalies, let's see how the... Ten oh, we already know how Saros did. Yeah, he was at the top there. Bernier also did pretty solid, though. All right, so that was that experiment. I guess it worked. I guess you could say that was successful because we found out how many penalty minutes um, would be had by... You know what? Let's check his uh, playoff penalty minutes real quick. I'm kind of curious to see if he kept it up in the lofts or not. All right, Doug the Thug. And we go to all stats. 187 pims and then in the playoffs 27 pims in 11 games so uh, that's that's quite a bit i'm pretty sure all right guys thanks for watching if you have any other sort of experiment ideas such as this that you would like to see go ahead let me know if you want to see a full career sim of a 36 discipline player assuming that it stays at 36 discipline then we can definitely get that sorted out and see how many PIMs they will get throughout their career. Let's just do some quick maths. So let's just say that 187 is the average for penalty minutes, right? And they play an 18-year career, which is, you know, sometimes we get more. Sometimes they retire after 18 years. It's It really all depends. But, you know, I, I guess typically we sort of get a little bit more. But I feel like in this game, they appear to be retiring earlier. But anyway, um, assuming he gets 187 penalty minutes for 18 years, that will give him 3,366 PIMs, which still will not be... Tiger Williams. So it's really difficult to know because we have a very small sample size of 187. If, you know, that would be like a slow year for penalties or if that is, I am never going to get that many penalties again. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do one more year just to see. I want to get a, a generic idea if that is what's to be expected or not. I, I do kind of have to go actually, but the simulation speed in this game makes me hopeful that we can get through this. This is also good to see if he still has 36 discipline or not. Because maybe he, you know, spent some time training discipline in the offseason or something. We can hope he didn't. But, yeah, I'm not even going to focus on our team at all this year. I just want to strictly see what's going on with our boy Dougie. So, Boston Bruins, Doug the Thug, 
And that's not what I wanted again. Why do I keep doing that? Still at 36 discipline, elite. Well, the Bruins are doing good this year. They got 57 points right now, leading the division. Our team, not doing so hot at the moment, but uh, we don't care about our team this year. So yeah, that's two losses to the Bruins in the month of March, 2023. Oh, we have another Bruins matchup coming up. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's take let's take one dub. Um, I, I suppose decline because I don't really care, but the Bruins... Another L. Lovely. Delightful, in fact. We didn't even make the playoffs, so that is a thing. The Bruins against the Leafs in the playoffs there. We all know how that one should end. And it looks like it ended as it shall. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, Nate Mack did much better this year, but doesn't matter. Not worrying about that. The Bruins did not win the cup, by the way. I strictly just did this year to see how many Pims our guy's going to get. I'm going to go to the entire league, so I'm going to assume he has the most Pims again. And sort... Yeah, he only got 131 this year, so it's very hard to say. His discipline is still 36. Huh. Yeah, he would have to play a few more seasons for sure to even get close to Tiger Williams with that. But anyways, yeah. I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting regardless. He's still um, almost doubling McDonough here, but this year, not quite. And yeah, pretty interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Um, if you subscribe, that would be elite and that's about it. Hope you guys are doing great. Have a good rest of your evening or day, whatever it is, maybe even morning. And I will see you soon.